So trigger warning for any of my vegan friends. I am making the most incredible bone broth. So with my bone broth, I only use organic beef. It's been grass fed. There's no hormones or anything in there. This is a big shin bone that I'm roasting in the oven before I'm gonna pop into the slow cooker. final product of the bone broth let me show you so it's the fat has coagulated after being in the fridge for 12 hours this here just peels off you just crack it like as if it's like ice and then you can peel it off now for those of you that like cooking with butter um, this is a really nice way to get some extra fats into your diet so you can just peel this off like you would um, layers of ice so let's get this off here and I'll show you Great. So what we have here now is the jelly. Can you see that? So with this now, you are free to um, put it into glass jars. You can put it into plastic containers and freeze it. I normally do this with two cups per container so that I know that each serving has got two cups. So what I have here are Tupperware containers. They are freezer ready, so freezer proof. You can always read the back of a good quality container and find out what it says. I always use a measuring cup. You can just scoop up the broth. But the cool thing is with this is that you can drink it. I love mixing mine with a little bit of ginger in the morning. So there's one cup. Um, you don't need a lot. You don't need to have a whole cup, but have at least half a cup. In the morning, it's a, with lemon if you want to as well, and ginger. It's a beautiful way to line your stomach. Now, remember we're in winter. So that's the space I've got on the top, yeah? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of mine. As we are in winter, everything that you have been eating and consuming, your body has drawn into your own bone marrow, into your own bones to support you through these colder seasons, just like the trees. I start I have been drawing all of their life force out of the leaves, out of the extremities, into its trunk. We are no different to that. So the more that you can be consuming foods that are warm, grounding, and especially liquids like this that are rich in collagen and other minerals that your body needs, this is a fantastic way to look after all of your organs, particularly looking after your vaginal health because you can use every single yoni egg you have available to you. You can get as many yoni massages as you like, but if you aren't consuming food that is really hydrating and nourishing for your own tissues, yeah? That external work that you're doing is really, it's not able to penetrate as far as it needs to go. It's not going to be able to work its way from the inside out to nourish your organs. And what I have here is a glass jar. So I love using glassware in my fridge, never in the freezer, obviously. And I'll take a cup and maybe even a little bit more, depending on how much fits in there. And this is what I pour from when I make my own little elixirs at home. Let's see how much I can fit in there. Okay, so that's a cup worth. That's going to go into my fridge. And I will sip that over the next day or so. If you think about that, in the day where you made your own food you would look after the, the animals lovingly knowing that they would feed your family from I know exactly what's inside this stock I know what it does for my body whenever I cook my food I pray over it and thank this experience to nourish me this is what I hope to pass on through all of my programs is to remind you that you are more than what mainstream media is telling you that you are. The power really is in your hands to step into this space of consciously evolving throughout your life. I look forward to seeing you in any of my programs coming up in the future. We have the power of the pause, which is that three hour decadent 
deep dive for the Consciously Evolving Woman to learn about her woman rites of passage. There's the three things you don't know about perimenopause masterclass. And of course, there is my signature program called Nourished. It's a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I look forward to seeing you in any of those. If you've got a comment or a question, drop it below. I'll talk to you soon now. Bye.